start with this habit first people always tell me i don't know uh, what to write about i need more time to think but writing should be done for the opposite reason i write daily in order to think not the other way around you don't know what you really think unless you don't put pen to paper or more likely keyboard to the computer when you are forced to articulate a position or an argument you start to think better not magically but through consistent practice writing daily in the is the mental equivalent of going to the gym your mind like your body needs to be consistently challenged and stretch in order to improve when you start to write consistently you become far more aware of your own prejudices and bias your thoughts are there to see black and white criticism and feedback from others only help to improve your thoughts and writing writing is like having another pair of eyes on your mind you start to understand how you think you your thought patterns and how you come to draw these conclusions try writing for 30 days even for only 2 minutes you will start to see a significant difference in how you think you look at regular problems in your life differently you will start to appreciate the beauty and power of words leverage this next habit reading is one of the highest leverage activities you can do to improve your life for the cost of a dinner or a lunch you get access to wisdom that has taken a person a lifetime to cultivate others take the time to understand their experience package it up neatly and make it available to everyone in the world for a small fee there is no greater investment in your life than a good book any success that i have enjoyed in my life has been built off the back of a reading of lots of good books finance spirituality consulting and even my writing have all been improved from reading what the best practitioners out there have to say don't forget about this habit we all know the physical benefits of exercise and moving your body but very few people understand the connection between the body and the brain do i want to cognitively energized i'll do some high intensity low duration activities you can often find me doing short sprints in the backyard before a long and potentially boring meeting do i want to have deeper more introspective thoughts i'll do some deep stretching in a quiet room with few distractions do i want to feel less stressed i'll start by controlling my breathing control over my breath gives gives me control over my thoughts i can start to slow down and put things into perspective my body and mind share a symbiotic connection moving my body creates momentum for my mind i try to start my day getting outside and moving the light exposure and heat help me wake up and energize my body for the day understand this habit mindfulness is not just about meditating in a half lotus position with your eyes closed mindfulness is about cultivating a moment in time that connects you with the present the longer you can connect with the present moment the greater your mindfulness practice you can achieve mindfulness in a variety of ways most commonly through meditation but you can create mindfulness via long walks gardening or even art finally connection as a human being there are four connections you need to have daily these are people purpose passion and nature if you have to sacrifice time on your phone binge watching netflix shows or wake up one or two hours earlier in order to have these connections please do it the trick is to have activities that incorporate one or more of these connections these aren't that difficult to attain you just need to be more intention intentional with how you spend your time and who you choose your to spend it with 
the main cause of uh, burnout and chronic stress is a lack of connection to these things people who work in dead end uh, jobs are uh, dying a slow death it is often not the difficulty of the job that makes people quit rather the lack of alignment and connection i want to end today's video with this quote successful people aren't born that way they become successful by establishing the habits of doing things unsuccessful people don't like to do